Okay, good day, Jane. I'm going to read through your essay and provide some corrections. Okay, let's jump straight in because I'm familiar with the essay question. Okay, reading is an avenue for learners, for learning. Um, perhaps say that enhances the thinking ability of um, younger generations. Excellent vocabulary. Despite the numerous advantages of reading, it should not be forgotten that there are other important hobbies which are more useful to improve physical competencies and cognitive talents. Okay, to improve the physical competencies and cognitive talents of kids. This essay will discuss these points in the... Okay? Uh, this sentence should instead say, this, point, this essay will discuss these points using these kinds of examples to support its claims. And then you should specify what, what these examples are. Um, you know, examples from the sports, some sports science institutes or whatever. Okay? But I can see, Jane, that your vocabulary is excellent, as your grammar is as well. Okay. Firstly, playing on games consoles will enrich the active thinking techniques and spatial awareness of a child. This is because there is always a challenge to think keenly, um, maybe say in regards to different strategies and be observant on how to implement uh, that should be plural, these moves in order to win um, games against, um, just say instead, opponents, that would be better. Okay, for example, from the recent gaming poll survey in Pennsylvania, okay, say it is shown that children who have a PlayStation at home are able to analyze and answer um, answer problem solving questions quickly. Therefore, it is clear that playing games consoles is an alternative way to well. Okay. Instead, say therefore, it is clear that playing games consoles um, provides an alternative to develop the cognitive talents of children. Okay, very, very good paragraph. Um, your, your vocabulary is excellent. You've justified your arguments very nicely indeed. And you're following the sentence guide structure perfectly. Okay, let's move on. Secondly, comma, exposing children to sports, okay, that shouldn't be capitalized, is a healthy diversion to boost their physical and com competitive aptitudes. Excellent. This will train kids to adapt to, okay, always adapt to physical and mental discipline to be able to have the stamina, stamina to play and the right mind. Okay. This sentence is a good example of one small problem in your writing, Jane. Sometimes you 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 write fairly long sentences with, with lots of big words, and because of that, the clarity sometimes gets a bit lost. So in places, I'd recommend that you you simplify your vocabulary, okay? Because in this sentence, for instance, I get a bit lost, okay? For example, it was found out from research made by the Armed Forces University that freshman students who have sports, who have a sports background, are, li are more likely to pass the rigorous training to enter the army. Therefore, it shows that sports is an essential activity to introduce to young people to prepare, to prepare um, them for their physical and mental health um, in the future. Okay, again, very, very good. To conclude, although reading is a worthy pastime, very nice phrase, 
there are still other highly qualified interests and hobbies that should be that. Okay, here you can simplify that. Cultivate the youth with stronger mind and body. And for these reasons, okay, and here again, shorten, shorten your sentence, okay, and then just capsize this. For these, and it should be plural, for these reasons, I agree that there are more enjoyable activities to develop better skills and imagination for children. And don't forget your future tense sentence in the conclusion. Okay, let's let's jump straight into your communication essay. Communication is a vital method um, for exchanging information and is very essential for the household. And it is very essential for the household to update. And maybe and it is therefore essential for the household to update and know the whereabouts of everyone. Although we know for the fact, we know for a fact, that um, okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to correct this um, sentence. I'll just identify it again as a sentence in which a you could shorten, and b you could use simpler vocabulary because because you're pushing yourself a bit. Um, grammatically and in terms of the clarity of what you're saying things get a bit messy okay so let's i'm just going to move on to your first paragraph and just you can look at this yourself and think of ways in which you can correct it okay firstly basic family time together and bonding activities are happening less and are not a priority anymore. Okay, that's an excellent sentence. It's, it's short and, and clear, but your vocabulary is still excellent. This is because the norms nowadays... Okay, here we've got, here we've got another sentence um, that is too long and uses too many difficult words. You know, you could simplify it and say, this is because nowadays parents are working longer hours, and because of this, they have less time to communicate with their family members. Okay, for example, um, you can just say, Family Code Statistics of Canada shows that 8 out of 10 parents are having extra jobs after their regular work. And then to make the example better, and that as a consequence, these parents are spending far less time with their children. Okay, and, and this sentence is perfectly good. So I'm just going to move on. Secondly, members... Okay. Secondly, um, I say instead, secondly, family members are spending more time on the internet and are therefore interacting less with one another physically. Okay, with internet technology readily available at home, it becomes the main attraction and kids and parents are getting entertained with online activities rather than talking to each other. Lovely sentence. For example, a study, okay, it should be a study from the Australian Communications and Media Authority. Okay, it should be, for example, according to a study by the Australian, etc., the internet usage at home has dramatically increased to 90% over the last three years. Okay, again, this example would be better if you said has increased to 90% over the last three years, and therefore the Institute has noticed a strong um, trend in which family members communicate less with each other. Okay, and perhaps here you could say that negatively affects uh, domestic communication. To conclude, the demanding lifestyles and different technology trends nowadays, okay, 
just just yeah this this sentence again is is a bit messy because it's quite complex um you know you could just say therefore from the examples given above it's clearly the case that family communication is decreasing due to technology and then you'd need to insert a future tense sentence okay but despite the the criticisms i've given I want to emphasize that these are very, very good essays and that your 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 grammar and vocabulary for the most part are excellent. Okay? So just focus on some of the things that, that I've mentioned and I'm sure you'll continue to improve even further. It was a pleasure to read your work and I look forward to seeing more of it in the future. Thank you.